The four remaining seeds at the 2016 Gary Weber Open were all in action in Halle as the second round continued on Thursday. Defending champion Roger Federer admitted after his first round win that it had taken a little time to adjust to the conditions on the Stadion Court, despite playing the tournament for a 14th year. The number one seed met Malik Jaziri for only the second time, and in the first set, Federer seemed to have the measure of his opponent. That's quality from Federer. Right from the sliced return. Federer duly took the opener 6-3, but things became a little rocky for the eight-time champion, when Jaziri fired some incredible winners early in the second. What a brilliant game this is from Jaziri, he's got an answer to everything. The Swiss master, though, recovered from 4-1 down in the set and began to work the old magic. Eventually taking down the Tunisian in straight sets after a solid workout. Well, Jaziri is trying to challenge, but he's run out of them. So Federer makes it through since he made his debut at this tournament in the year 2000. He's never failed to make the quarterfinals, and that run continues. The most informed man on the ATP World Tour, Dominic Team, took on Timoros Gabashvili on the Stadion Court. Team found himself a breakdown early, but in a marathon sixth game, lasting over 11 minutes, he began his fight back. Oh, ridiculous point. After completing the turnaround by taking the first set 6-4, Team raced through the second with some spectacular play. No way! It just gets more and more sensational from Dominic Team with every game that goes by. Eventually advancing into the quarterfinals with a straight sets victory. Again, the match team. A sublime six, performance six, from Dominic Team. World class six, tennis from the newest entrant in the top ten of the Emirates ATP rankings. David Goffin and Sergei Stokowski met for the first time on grass in a further second round matchup. And it was Stokowski who made the faster start. Oh, he's so alert, Stokowski, and that's exactly what he merits. First break of the match. One break of serve was enough for the Ukrainian to take the opener. Faced with an uphill battle, Goffin began to wilt as Stokowski sought his first victory over the Belgian. Oh, that's too good. So guy Stokowski. But a back injury sustained by Stokowski allowed Goffin away back into the match. And it proved too much for the Ukrainian to continue, giving Goffin the victory. Oh. There's a shake of the head from Sergei Stokowski as he gets broken, takes the headband off, and he's decided to take what would seem the sensible decision and retire. Earlier in the day, the 2011 champion Philip Kohlschreiber took on the always dangerous on grass Ivo Karlovic. Unsurprisingly, there were no breaks of serve in the opener, and after saving three set points, Karlovic repeated the trick to turn the set around. After the big Croat took the opening tiebreak, Kohlschreiber began to get a read on his opponent's serve. Oh, another fine return by Kohlschreiber. After the number eight seed levelled the match at one set apiece, the decider again was a close affair, before Kohlschreiber found a way past the big man in the 11th game. But Kohlschreiber couldn't believe his luck that it came straight back at him. And he wasn't going to let Kolovic have another chance. And a pumped up German number one closed out the match. Again, set a match, Kohlschreiber. And Kohlschreiber has come seven, through a six, severe seven, test. Five. He becomes the first man ever to break Karlovic at the Gary Faber Open. And the former champion makes his way through to the quarterfinals. So the quarterfinal lineup was complete, with three Germans in the last eight. The four man on the ATP World Tour in Dominic Team, and of course eight-time champion Roger Federer. Things were all heating up very nicely.